Hello, Patrick Walchuk here, and we're going to do a financial analysis on a building as we do every month. And if you enjoy getting these things, hit the subscription button, notification bell, and we'll get them sent out to you every 30 days. So what we've done this month uh, for, uh, we, we select two buildings, one in town, one out of town. So for the in town one, we selected one that's inside the Green Belt, West End, Ottawa, and it is a conventional six unit building. It had two one bedrooms and four two bedroom units, parking for five vehicles. And this building was listed for a million five hundred forty nine thousand. It sold for one million four hundred thirty five thousand dollars. And the scheduled rental income income on it was about seventy seven thousand uh, dollars. When we deduct for vacancy and bad debt, our ERI on that is seventy four thousand seven eighty seven. Operating expenses that were published in MLS are about twenty seven thousand five hundred. When we factor in uh, maintenance management our total operating expenses on this building were almost $35,000. So knowing that, we can calculate an NOI of almost $40,000. So what does all this mean? Well, it kind of means we got an ugly story uh, coming here. So we have a cap rate of 2.77%. So we know this isn't going to end well, if you will. The operating expenses on this building 47%, that is just about as high as it, it can get. Uh, it sold for 19 times the gross, 36 times the net. And this is the thing that I'm just kind of fixated on sometimes. And that is how much of a down payment is required on this building for it to have a positive cash flow or, or to break even. In this case here, this purchaser had to pay 63% down in order to make a little bit of money. That 63% is over $900,000. And um, we do our calculations based on a mortgage rate of about 5.5%. We amortize that over five years. So you can see what the monthly payments are. So our annual debt service on that is uh, $38,000. And the cash flow on that property is nine hundred and twenty eight dollars so you invest like close to a million dollars to have a zero point one percent return on your investment in your first year